All right, let's, let's wind this thing up a little bit. I'm not gonna mash it. I wanna ease into the throttle. All right, so I'm gonna back down. We're in third. Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette here. I have a 2006 convertible, one owner car. Uh, the car was bought new by one of our customers and the car has 27,272 miles before my test drive. And it's a pretty well equipped car. He didn't order it with the, the nav. Uh, he wasn't crazy about that. And that's actually kind of smart because now it would be uh, rather outdated. He bought the car, as I said, brand new and decided it wasn't loud enough. So we ended up doing a full exhaust, uh, American Racing headers and, uh, you know, custom, I think it's Corsa on there. And then he decided it wasn't fast enough. So we did a cam and a tune and all that. So this thing's actually a little bit of a hot rod, uh, but it's it's been driven now. Uh, we did that work back in, I believe, 2012. It was done here, so it was done right and, uh, you know, done done the proper way. So all in all, the car's, uh, it, you know, it's still a low mileage original un, unhit, unpainted car, but it, it's got a little extra, you know, a little extra HP. So we'll take this thing out for a ride. It is an automatic, so it's very easy to drive and it's, uh, you know, it's really a sleeper. All right, we're up to temp here. Boy, we sure got a perfect day for this. They put the top down and, uh, well, I'm gonna leave it down because it is perfect cruising weather. Got the AC blowing nice and cold on my face here. So we got the best of both worlds. So, you know, it's, it's an interesting car because it is an automatic, you know, how many people still associate an automatic with, you know, uh, mediocre performance uh, and such. Um, the younger generations don't because that's all, all they really uh, are, are used to. And it's, it, it's really a fallacy, but be that as it may, um, You know, this, this is a performance car, and I mean, the Corvette obviously is a performance car out of the wrapper, but this one's just got a little extra, you know, a little extra power and a little extra sound, but it's not, it's not a bad, it's not, it's not the uh, overwhelming noise. I think this thing was very tastefully done. And, you know, there's a lot of ways to, you know, make, improvements on these cars but if you look under the hood uh, it looks completely stock now I know to look for you know headers and exhaust manifolds but you know everything is really clean and properly done you know and when when uh, our techs do these jobs we, we just disassemble everything nothing gets bent or pushed out of the way so it, it just makes the job nicer a little bit more expensive but what you get is longevity and here's a car that we did, you know, many years ago. And, you know, no issues, no check engine lights, no, no problems. So I don't know what the dyno uh, numbers on this thing are, but I would imagine it's, it's probably got a little over a, an extra hundred horsepower over stock. So it, it, it's all you need and uh, a lot of bang for the buck. I mean, really it's Z06 uh, performance in a convertible. So it's, it's really the best of both worlds. But it's also an automatic, easy to drive here. So I kind of like that. All right. So everything's working as it should here. All the gauges are operating at the proper indicating it's operating at the proper pressures and temperatures so just an easy no drama car so I was pretty uh, pretty happy to get this one because the customer uh, you know he's been he's been a client oh geez now so many years um, since shortly he uh, after he bought the car 
and just a super nice guy, always happy to see him. Um, selling it due to some health reasons, uh, which, you know, that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. It's gonna make somebody a, you know, happy driver. It is a sleeper though, you know, being white, stock wheels and everything uh, it's a sleeper for sure but this thing this thing runs good I'm going to show you how good it runs it's one of those cars that will it surprises you I want to ease into the throttle because it will you know you know the stock LS motor will fry the tires in one of these cars this thing with the extra horsepower it just spins up too easy so I'm gonna take it easy I'll ease into the throttle but I'll get it up to uh, 6500 rpm red line I'll just I'm gonna let it shift the way it likes to shift so that's uh, that's what we got here but yeah the interior in this thing's really nice no no wear anywhere the bolsters are nice uh, it's just a really well maintained car the kind of car I would I would you know love to have for myself just because you don't, you know, you don't have to question its use. Um, he did take it to, uh, I believe, Maple Grove one time. We actually sponsored a, a drag race and encouraged uh, our customers to come up. So we had a, a lot of novice guys and, you know, they ran, uh, you know, casually ran the cars. You're not going to hurt a car like this. Uh, that's actually in one of the receipts, though, is, is prep for the drag race day. So when you see that, um, you know, I could have easily pulled that out and you'd never see it. But, you know, full disclosure, but no issues. You know, it, it's not something that the car wasn't um, trailered up with race, uh, you know, uh, slicks and, you know, really pulverized. It was a, that was a gentleman race day and uh, pretty fun to uh, participate in it um, and watch guys actually drag race the car for the first time. They're pretty entertaining. Good stuff. All right, let's, let's wind this thing up a little bit. I'm not gonna mash it. I wanna ease into the throttle. All right, so I'm gonna back down. We're in third. Okay, that's all I wanna do. This thing's loud when you get on it. Um, it's got a lot of snot. I mean, you back down in there and, uh, you know, it gets up and goes. So, fun car. All right, so there you have it. I actually like this car. <laughs> this thing's pretty fun. Um, that that's exciting. Uh, that's not that's not how these cars feel stock. And uh, damn, you know you want to. Yeah, I like this car a whole lot. Uh, it's. Uh, it's cool. So there you go. I mean, if you want something that just runs its ass off and uh, it's got a little bit of a rumble at idle, but really not that far removed from stock. This is cool. This is a good car. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's my two cents. I think uh, it speaks for itself. So if you're looking for something that's uh, a little out of the ordinary for not a lot more money, uh, sign yourself up for this one. It's a lot of fun. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, I want to go put this thing back before I raise the uh, attention of the local law enforcement and uh, at a minimum get a uh, lecture. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, try to do this. This is part of my job to take these cars out and show you that they are functioning properly, but I don't want to abuse my privileges as a uh, uh, businessman in good standing in, in my town here. Um, so take it, take that for what it's worth and, uh, you know, give us a call if you have an interest in this thing and we'll, we'll make something happen. You know, take trades, um, you know, whatever you got, give us a call. All right. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon.